So this one says, um, what is the molarity of a solution made by dissolving 2.355 grams of sulfuric acid into water and diluting to a final volume of 50 mils? So let me write down what we got. It says the mass of sulfuric acid is 2.355 Per liter, per milliliter. Per liter. Yeah, it's going to be per liter. So you got to compare that. Yeah. So the volume of the solution is 50.0 mils. Okay. So it says, what is the concentration and molarity of this solution? So the first thing you're going to have to do is figure out, well, what is the number of moles of sulfuric acid that I have? Right? So, in order to do that, I have to calculate the molar mass. Right? So, and we're going to put the grams of sulfuric acid down here. One mole of sulfuric acid. If you guys don't know sulfuric acid, you need to get you used to it. All you're, eventually, you're going to. This is the first one that's good for you to memorize. Okay. Um, so, I'm just going to calculate the molar mass. Um, like was mentioned earlier, it's going to be in liters, so we're going to have to convert that. So, again, if you don't know your metric conversions, time to learn them. So, 50 divided by 1,000. Okay. So, remember, molarity is the derived unit. So, molarity, big M is the derived unit of moles per liter, okay, or number per volume, is concentration units in general. Um, so in this case, the molarity of your sulfuric acid solution is going to be 0 0.0241 moles per 0 0.0500. So what you say is your solution concentration is 0 0.480 molar sulfuric acid. Okay. Well, it's just a capital M. Yeah, it's just capital M. Okay, so this is the derived unit of moles per liter. No, you got a mol molar, yeah. And you got it, the, uh, that's the other thing. So now we're going to start learning that we're going to have these derived units that, you know, don't show these units here, you know. I mean, we did, we did see one in chapter one, it was called joules, you know. Um, but I, I don't think I gave you any problems on the example. Okay, we cool?